What's up everyone, my name is Sean, and welcome back to another Ice Gauntlet News. Let's get things started with another Top 5 News Stories of the Week. And coming in at the number 5 spot, Nintendo is going to be giving the Miiverse some new features and a sleeker look this summer. The update comes with new personalization features and changes to the community page that make them easier to navigate. Communities will now have posts categorized by journal entries, drawings, and discussions. The journal entry feature replaces the activity feed. Additionally, Nintendo is loosening its rapid posting restriction, but is limiting users to 30 comments per day, which do not include those made inside games. Coming in at the number 4 spot, developer Rebellion announced yesterday that it's remastering Battlezone, the 1998 PC remake of the arcade game. The studio is also currently working on a virtual reality version based on the Atari's 1980 version. Although details are scarce about this remaster, Rebellion promises more information at a later date. And coming in at the number 3 spot, earlier this year, Perfect World's free-to-play Dungeons & Dragons MMO Neverwinter released on Xbox One. Those who started this fantastical adventure will have more to seek their teeth into starting today. Along with the new quest and heroic encounters, the rise of TM Hot update includes an on-screen minimap, performance upgrades, adjustments to querying, and a 25-player battle with the five-headed dragon art goddess Tyvet. I just butchered that name, but I'm gonna continue this anyways. And coming in at the number two spot, Shovel Knight will be coming to retailers. This retail edition includes the original campaign, the upcoming Plague of Shadows expansion, and a challenge mode. The physical version will be coming for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, and 3DS at a price of $19.99 on October 13th. And coming out at the number one spot, if you have registered for the Star Wars Battlefront PC Alpha, check your emails. EA has started thinning out invitations. The Alpha test is scheduled to begin on Thursday, July 2nd at 2 a.m. Pacific or 5 a.m. Eastern. EA plans to shut things down for this round of testing on Monday, July 6th at the same time. If you get selected, you'll need to download an Orchard account to participate. The client is available for download now, so if you get an invitation, you want to preload so you'll be ready when the servers are open. EA has a non disclosure strictures in place, so there's unlikely to be footage that lasts long online if it appears at all. The company warns that violation of the NDA may result in forfeit of your user origin account. Well, that's the end of the top 5 for this week, so here are the games that are releasing in this upcoming week. I hope you enjoy.
Well, that's the end of the video, so if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a rating, comment, subscribe, check back to the channel for more Ice Scotland news, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.